Friday, obviously. And, you know, I was thinking about it this week. I don't have that much to complain about. I did a video a couple days ago about how people don't know how to write emails anymore. But I thought, you know, I've had a good week <laughs> other than that. And, by the way, I had two people contact me and apologize profusely going, Steve, I'm so sorry that my emails drove you to that. And neither of them were the person I was thinking of. So um, chances are that the one person who inspired that entire video rant is too clueless to know I was talking about them. So if you think it was you, it wasn't. <laughs> but as the year is approaching its end, and years do end, uh, I'm planning on doing a countdown video on my main channel of the top 10 videos of the year. And so while I've been planning on doing this, I've been poking around a little bit, checking out various statistics and whatnot. And I thought it might be kind of fun to run through some statistics on here, on the vault, about my channel in general. Because these numbers blow my mind. And so I think some people might find this entertaining. So I actually have three channels to talk about. The Steve Lato channel, my main channel, which I often refer to as Lato's Law. Channel on YouTube that was called Steve Lato. And then I've also got the Vault channel on YouTube, which is where you're watching this video right now, most likely. Or if you're hearing this, uh, it would be on SoundCloud. Although I don't often post my Vault videos on SoundCloud, but I might just in this one because I just said that. So that might encourage people who are on SoundCloud to come over and take a look at the Vault because those things are not on SoundCloud. We'll get to that. That's the podcast, audio version only of my shows. So on the Steve Lato channel on YouTube, to date, having been there for about eight years now, I now have had 177 million downloads. 177 million downloads. That's a big number. I also have 22.8 million hours of watch time. <laughs> now, we can figure out how much lost productivity that relates to with respect to the American workforce, where most of my views come from in America. But that's a big number. Uh, I've got 354,000 subscribers uh, as of right now. That last series of numbers is going to change. I got 354,799 right now. By the time you see this, it'll probably be 354, 900, maybe 355, who knows? But I remember that when I was out in California visiting Jay Leno a year ago, the morning that I was going to see him, I logged on and my odometer just rolled over 250. So it took me about another year to pick up another 100,000. 354, 799. That's where I'm at right now, give or take. Uh, meanwhile, the top five videos, the top five videos on my channel, uh, are thus, when can the police search your car at the roadside? That one video has got 2.8 million views. Now, I've got one, two, three, four, five videos that are over a million. That's the only one I've got that's over 2 million, though. 2.8 million views. I had a video called You Were Right, where I mentioned the fact that I had a bunch of people say, Steve, civil ass forfeiture, the logical conclusion will be when the police just start pulling over armored trucks. And they did that. <laughs> so I wrote, <laughs> you were right and did a video on that. It's got 1.7 million views. Uh, the one where I suggested that you may be able to just pry that GPS tracker off your car got 1.25 million views. Uh, the one about the police arresting a 10-year-old girl for the picture she drew, 1.09 million views. And I'm being sued, episode one of Crazy Town, 1.066 million views. So the first one got all the attention and the last... Two, three, and four got some attention. There's been no epilogue to that yet. Someday I'll explain it, but it's too complicated to go into it right now. But uh, Crazy Town Volume 1 was I'm Being Sued with Over a Million Views. That's the number five most watched video on the Steve Lato channel on YouTube. Now, I've got the Vault channel, which literally went live May 1st. May 1st, you got May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and almost December. So eight months in, we've got one million views. One million views. Okay? That's pretty impressive. Although the other channel's got 177 million. but <laughs> 132,000 watch hours. Uh, 14,458 subscribers. Uh, I think that's about 120th or 130th of what I've got on the other channel. But uh, yeah, 14,000 subscribers. That's pretty good pretty good, but I do not have any videos yet over 100,000 views. One video is in the 90s, in the 90s, but it's it's not over 100,000 yet, so these things take time. <laughs> we'll get there. And then finally, and a lot of people don't know this, but I've got a channel that I actually had before my YouTube channel where I post podcasts. That is the audio from these videos. 
So I shoot a video, I render the video, and I render an audio version, and I upload it to SoundCloud, and it gets fed to all the different podcasting sites like iTunes and Podbean and Google Play. And I actually get downloads there as well, not on the same scale as the downloads off of YouTube, but they are substantial. And I, and I never really paid much attention to this because uh, SoundCloud's not monetized, meaning that I pay money to put the audio up, but no one pays me. <laughs> so a little while back, I did announce on my SoundCloud channel that I have a, um, a Patreon account that I ask people if they want to, they can contribute to. And the reason I put that up is that I do pay money to put the audio up, and yet I don't get anything back from it. And, and sometimes I wonder, why do I go to all the trouble of doing this? Because it means that people are listening to my videos, and, and on YouTube, if that happened, I'd be compensated for it. So in a roundabout way, I'm hurting myself. So I've had some people step up and say, Steve, kick in a couple bucks a month for you on that, on that Patreon there for you. So I appreciate that, but I'm not making anybody have to do that. I'm mentioning it's there. But the SoundCloud channel is called Lato's Law. Lato's Law. You can figure out how to spell it by looking behind me. Uh, and as of right now, it has 2,971 uploads. Now, there were over 3,000, but recently I went in and I removed a bunch of the old ones because I like to do that from time to time. 2,971 uploads. Now, I forgot how many uploads I've got on the main channel here at Steve Leto, but it's substantially less because I go in and routinely and prune old videos from the channel. And those are what end up on the Vault channel, obviously. So on SoundCloud, 2,971 uploads. Uh, of those, 7.9 million downloads, almost 8 million downloads of an audio podcast. That's a pretty big deal. Um, I know people who do audio podcasting, and that field is very, very crowded. It's hard to get to the top of that field. Uh, and so in the millions of downloads is a big deal. Uh, so far this year, just this year, 2.72 million downloads this year. So what's weird is I, I have graphs and stuff. Uh, I won't bother putting them up on the screen here because we're not going to get that heavy into this. But uh, the growth on that channel has, has kind of skyrocketed. Uh, so I've got a lot more views this year than the previous year, and it's substantially more. It's almost doubled, I think, from last year to this. So 2.72 million million downloads this year alone, 7.9 uh, overall since I put it up at the very beginning. And uh, the, the number one the number one po audio podcast on my channel is entitled Reduce the Odds of Being Ticketed When Pulled Over by the Police. That's been downloaded 54,000 times. And that's huge, by the way, because the next <laughs> most popular podcast of mine has, I think, eight or 9,000 downloads. So most of those numbers are just spread out very, very well. And that's a difference between podcasting and YouTube. Because if you subscribe to YouTube, or if you simply just go onto YouTube and enter from the, the, the homepage for you, and then poke around to videos, YouTube suggests things to you. And it suggests things that it thinks you'll like, but also things that are more popular. Whereas if you go to iTunes and you find a podcast you like and you just subscribe, you just get them in order. And I don't think many people go in and pick and choose. I'll oh, listen to this one, but not this one. Listen to this. I had people tell me to say, I, I log in every day, listen to two podcasts, and that's it. You know, and then I move on to something else. And so there's a very, very even number of views across most of the podcasts. Now, the Reduce the Odds of Being Ticketed podcast probably has a lot of views because I think when I first did that podcast, I was still writing for either Jalopnik or Rodentrack.com or somebody. And um, I think that they may have put a link to that at, at least underneath one of my articles. And so a lot of people read the article and clicked on the podcast and then listened to it there. So that might be why. But the 54,000 downloads of that one episode is huge in the world of podcasting. Now, obviously, videos on YouTube, I've got videos that get 54,000 downloads in the first day as a matter of course. But then again, I've got a much larger audience available to me. Uh, through YouTube. So this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. And, you know, I could have done this at Thanksgiving and said, hey, this is something I should be thankful for. And I am very, very thankful for this. Uh, I wake up in the morning, I shoot two videos, <laughs> and then I start my day. And I actually think to myself, I, I, I still can't believe this, that I can go sit down in my studio here, uh, 
talk to that camera for a few minutes, upload it on YouTube, and people actually look for them and, and watch what I just put up. And it, 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 it does actually kind of boggle my mind. So I'm greatly appreciative of all of this. So no matter where you enjoy hearing me or watching me speak, whether it's the Steve Leto channel, the Vault channel, or Leto's Law on SoundCloud, I appreciate it greatly. Uh, and uh, it would not have been possible, obviously, without the greatest audience on earth. And it's, it's the audience that I have at those three locations. So... <laughs> I doubt anybody checks out all three because you have no need to listen to the podcast if you watch them. But um, like I said, uh, 177 million views on the main channel and um, 354,000 subscribers. And, you know, I, I crossed over the 100,000 mark and I got that cool plaque there from YouTube. Uh, the next plaque's not available till a million. So it's going to be a while before I get to replace that plaque. So... We'll see how long that takes. But that's it for today. Like I said, nothing to complain about. Uh, I will be back soon on this channel. Otherwise, behave yourself. Bye-bye.